don't forget to subscribe. We do two videos a week on topics such as investing, dividend investing, saving money, and starting a side hustle business. As a young individual, you should focus on savings or income. The common theory is you should always be saving, and, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. But hear me out. If you are not making much money and you are so focused on saving, you're saving only a small percentage of what you actually are making. So it doesn't add up to much money at the end of the day. Where if you're relatively young and you focus on building your income and making more money, even if your saving percentage of that income is the same, you are going to save more money. Let's take an example. If you're making $10 an hour working at Home Depot, after you, you pay your, you know, your say your fuel for your car, maybe your insurance payment, uh, somewhere to live, at the end of the day, you're not going to have much money to save above your living expenses. Now, instead of, say you still work at Home Depot, but on the side you drive for Uber, or you start a website that makes advertising income, or you do anything else that earns additional income. All right, let's say you earn an extra $10,000 a year from whatever your side hustle is. That goes a long way to being able to save more money, and that money, say you invest it in dividend stocks, that money can earn additional income and it can create a snowball effect. So when you're young, you are able to take some risk with both your investing and your business, any type of business or side hustle ventures. So really consider spending some time and start a blog, start a YouTube channel, start something that can increase your income so you can use that extra income and invest it, whether it be in real estate or maybe you're good at fixing cars and you can buy a car and fix it up and sell it. Invest that money in something where it's going to generate additional income for you that you can continue to snowball.